Whenever you start studying God's word, I'll be honest, and I think we can all just be honest, like it is a discipline thing. It's not so much like, I can't wait to do this. Right. It's like sometimes I'm just like, all right. Let's grind. All right, Lord, yeah, yeah. let's grind. Yeah. Yes. Um, but discipline turns into desire. Yes. Because once you start yes. spending time wow. in God's word and you're doing it every day, you realize wow. this is the daily bread. Yeah. Yes. This, I yes. literally yes. cannot, I, I cannot go without yeah. you. a lot of times like what keeps us from reading God's word is it's so big yeah. and it feels really yeah. overwhelming and there's lots of like lists of names and these yes. big huge <laughs> words I'd be googling I'd be googling I'm like what does this Bubble mean <laughs> that's just that's just it is what yeah. it is I think but that's a lot of times what keeps us from it right the yeah, bigness sure. of it and the overwhelming feeling of like mm. I can't understand all of this and no you can't on your own strength and your own power mm. you absolutely cannot mm. but I think one of the key things that helped me move towards scripture was finding myself in the story a lot of times like you read scripture and, like I literally cannot relate to this like this was all these years ago and all these people and they had all these different rules and they dressed different all these things but it's like if you if you really study especially like the psalms i see myself so much in the writers of the psalms they are so raw and honest about their depression the, yep. the sorrow that they feel the confusion that where are you god yeah. why aren't you rescuing me yes. and when i when i realized like i'm in these pages i fell in love with that i was like i'm actually in here and i can see myself and i can see how jesus addressed people like me that is so good relating to the story but what about the moment where you feel no i can't like it's so far out of my mm. understanding. I can't relate. You cannot just depend on your feelings. Like yeah. you right. have to walk in the yeah. wisdom of the word of God. Because yes. if you're just depending on feelings, what happens when that feeling goes away? And so to yes. even speak on that with like relating to the word of God, what happens when I can't relate to it? Sometimes it's not about relating. It's about taking in his word to know that one day I may be equipped to use it to speak yes. into another person's yes. life who is just in that feelings based faith. And yeah. so it's not always about like, what is this for me? It's sometimes about, right. I am going to stay devoted and, and read the word of God and walk in a spirit of discipline, knowing that one day this might come about, I might walk and meet somebody and it's like, oh God, that's why I read that. That's right. why I read about the things that I already knew, or that's why I read about something that didn't make sense to my own life. But now I am equipped to be able to speak into something that somebody does not know about because they have yet to read what God has written. I feel like sometimes that we forget that in our faith with the, in relationship with the Father, it's not always going to be about us. It is for us, but yes. it's not always going to be about us. And that's, that's really deep because I think when we start to do the follow our feelings thing, Jesus becomes just another thing on the shelf yes. because we want him to fit into this and what's my experience and all that. So that's, that's profound, yeah. So sometimes we don't relate. It feels huge. And then we just leave and we're like, what the heck did I just read? Like I don't, I didn't leave my devotion time with a thud. That was it. I got an answer, I have a word. So what about that? I think, I mean, disciplining ourselves to read God's word is part of it. So it's not always gonna be like super fun and you won't always get like a Holy Spirit nugget like of truth that you can tweet. Like yeah. It's, yeah. you're not always gonna have this beautiful, aesthetically pleasing Bible study. Yeah. It's just not the reality of the, of the world, but our devotion, it's about devotion. It's about like being devoted to God's word and falling in love with God's word. And when you fall in love with God, you see that he's, He's all over the scripture. And so you want to be devoted. You want to know his word. And I think we have this understand, like, or this um, perception that we have to like understand exactly what we're reading. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times we can't. So opening the scripture yeah. and asking the Holy Spirit, would you show me something today? Would you teach me something so that I good. don't know? Show me something mm -hmm. that is hidden. Like I want to know the hidden things of yeah. Christ. And um, not being afraid to like not know all the answers when people ask you questions. Like when people ask you a question about the scripture or about Jesus, not knowing it's let me find out. Let me find out. That's good. Um, but also just resources like Blue Letter Bible or commentaries, apps, things that can help you further study the scriptures, I think is just key, major key. Yes. And going even back to your like statement about like the way that you pray before you read his word. Yeah. I think a lot of time we forget that it's literally a conversation with God. Yes. When we're reading his word, it's his voice like speaking to yeah. us and our prayer is the response. Mm -hmm. And so it's like mm -hmm. remembering, okay, Lord, like if I'm going to pray into this, I'm asking him questions. I am seeking him first. And then yes. in the midst of that, his word will come alive to me because yeah. it's not just now a one-sided 
instruction manual, but it's a conversation with my father. And it leads into that place of, I can understand this now. And like, not be afraid to look into the words that may not hit me because yeah. it's a conversation and he's trying to tell me something. That's really good. I do want to like talk about and touch on like yes. just practically like practical ways of studying scripture and getting in, God, in God's words so that we can love him more. Yes. Like not even just yeah. like love him like you love him, but love him the way that he wants us to love him. Yes. And I think that one of the ways that we do that is by spending time, intentional time in God's word every single day. One of like my rhythms is I have to do it at the same time, same place every morning. Yes. And it becomes, when Whenever you start studying God's word, I'll be honest, and I think we can all just be honest, like it is a discipline thing. It's not so much like, I can't wait to do this. It's like sometimes I'm just like, all right. It's a grind. All right, Lord, yeah, yeah. let's grind. Yeah. <laughs> um, but discipline turns into desire. Yes. Because once you start yes. spending time wow. in God's word and you're doing it every day, you realize wow. this is the daily bread. Yeah. Yes. This, I yes. literally yes. cannot, I, yep. I cannot go without yes. you. Um, and so one of the things I do is every morning I do the same place. So I sit on my floor in my living room, um, just like this at my coffee table, and I get my cup of coffee, have the same cup of coffee with the same creamer every single morning out of that Keurig girl. Um, yes, <laughs> that, that lavish life, that Keurig. Yes. And God. Um, I sit on the floor of my coffee table and I, I take my, I have, I'm going through the Bible in a year. So I do the Bible in a year and this is a SOAR journal um, and SOAR stands for oh, scripture, observation, application, reflection. And this has made my life and my time with the Lord so much easier and so much more simple. It breaks it down. So I'm doing the Bible in a year. So this is a one-year Bible from Tyndale Bibles, Amazon, $14.99, guys. Hey, $14.99. God. We love a deal. We love a deal, okay? And um, what I do every single morning is I open this, and it tells me what to read. So there's four different things, like bits of Scripture, that are getting me through my day, day-to-day day word. And then I, t- I pick one Scripture, one verse, and I soar on it. So I pick out one verse, and then I, uh, I write down my observations. What do, I, what do you see in this verse, what's happening here? How do I apply what I've learned today to my life? And then you reflect, you just, I write out a prayer or or a a general thought. And then that, like that was my time. And I I go further with the the Blue Letter Bible app is what I talk about all the time. Because I love it. There's commentaries. You can go so much further in your time with Mm -hmm. God. But it really is like, this is just a practical way to get into God's yeah. word and to like love him more is you have to know him and you have to know what he says. Good. And so spending time in God's word every single morning, starting my day with this, yeah. it's like I get fed and then I can go and I can yeah. be and I can take opportunities when they come. Whenever God puts somebody in front of me that he wants me to talk to, I'm like, I read this morning, I'm filled with the spirit right. and yes. I can do what whatever he's asking me yes. to do today. I think that uh, another thing that I've has helped me so much with Bible reading. I first of all, send me the link to that journal. Um, <laughs> right. I'll send you the link. <laughs> yeah, second of all, um, I think that you can make it fun. Uh, totally. Some people think that you can open up the Bible and that you just read like three chapters and it's like, okay, let's get into the day. Yeah. Like, no, I, it, you fall into a routine and you try to fit God into your schedule and you mm. get into that too much. Totally. I think you can make it fun. Now, I'm not saying it has to be aesthetic and you should be doing it for Instagram and things like yeah. that. Obviously, that's not important. <laughs> but if it looks cute, don't. Snap a pic. <laughs> make it fun. If you are really creative, you're into creative things, make it creative. You can draw. You can, like, you, there's ways to exalt yeah. God and praise God totally. through these, this time that you yeah. spend with Him. Yeah, I don't think you have to put, like, your relationship or your time with God in a box. It doesn't have to be every mm-hmm. single day starting, it like, at the same time, same place. That works for some people and other people it doesn't. But I think, like, switching up your time with the Lord will just fill you so yeah. much. Like, experiencing Him in nature on a walk yeah. in the morning. I was just or, or turning on worship music and experiencing him with music yes. or podcasts or things like that. Those things are all amazing resources. Yeah. As long as we're doing that, we're adding them to the scripture. Yeah. Yeah. We're not just, our podcast is not my, not Bible. my Bible. No. There yeah, are man. amazing podcasts and amazing leaders, but they are not God. Yep. And yeah. so adding them and like just doing different ebbs and flows, like you'll yeah. experience the fullness. Like yeah. scripture says, in your presence, there's fullness of joy. Hey girl! Thank you so, so, so much for the Girl Talk today. Nothing beats getting to just talk through these hard topics with the girls. And I do not want to miss you in our next chat. And so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a post. Chat to you soon.